how do you get ready for Quantum City? You famously authored the Quantum City Initiative, obviously a wonderful <laughs> white paper. The general kind of idea was, why does anyone build prop tech? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> It's a good answer. Cities are the main driver of GDP. And I think as they say in politics, it's the economy, stupid. Economy solves most problems. And so when we think about why tech should serve buildings and cities and ultimately people, I think there was a missing component of you got to marry the principles of a culture because most people think of smart cities and think the spy state of some of the other more authoritarian countries that have probably surpassed us on smart city technology. And if you can say from the outset that we're focused on individual liberty, economic dynamism, system efficiency, I think you can align from your core principles and deliver the same economic outcomes that other models do, but do it in a way that obviously fits, I think, the culture that most people in the West want. How do you balance smart cities can go wrong, right? AI is effectively controlling the media, it's controlling the world, right? And then there's a whole random tangent. Technology is not inherently good or bad. It's dependent on how people use it. We need a lot of free market dynamics. Typically, where the free market dynamics, when OpenAI or one of the big leaders in a space starts calling for regulation, really what they're doing is they're trying to close the door behind them 